Hi guys, welcome to Home Base Business Review. Uh, today is going to be a very important uh, uh, lesson, so make sure you get, get a piece of paper and pencil and write down what we're about to discuss. So we're going to be talking about how to tap into your your business. In this case, we're going to use Jifu as an example. Uh, how to tap into that energy. Uh, every great person you see out there discovered their energy and became great at it. Like basketball, baseball, uh, track, being a movie star. Uh, as a lot of the movie, movie stars had to sleep in their cars and work in restaurants that they didn't care to work in, but they did it because they were tapping into something that they, they, they believed in. It was their dream. They wanted their dream to become a reality. But, but let's talk about how to tap into that. So here we go. Remember, I want you to close your eye for a second. Think about yourself in high school. You're a senior in high school. Some of us graduated, so let's go ahead and look at that. Um, when we are in our senior year, it was harder. The classes uh, that we had, they all had those finals and things that we needed to basically pass in, in order to graduate. So we had to tap into that desire to graduate. We've seen other people graduate. We know we could do it. We see somebody else do something, we know we can do it, right? That's pretty much what it all falls down to. If it was that easy, not everybody would have been successful in business, right? Our basketball, our baseball, um, things like that. Now, what we did was we just couldn't wait to graduate from high school or just go to the military. For those of you who have been in the service, uh, we had to tap into something in order for us to graduate uh, in boot camp. It was not easy. <laughs> A lot of people think, oh, I can do it, but I'm going to tell you. In some cases, some people didn't make it to boot camp. They got kicked out of the military, and they regretted it for the rest of their lives. And some people wanted to go in the service, but know what they did? They let somebody else tap into their energy and talk them out of it. Talk them out of going in the service. Or talk them out of a job. Or today, they talk them out of how to uh, not listen to people who are trying to give you business uh, education. And and I, I, I got to tell you something. I don't know what it is, but why would... And I still, today, I'm still wondering, why can people, why do people go to other people who, who have made uh, that much money to give them uh, power over their thoughts? Telling them, oh, you shouldn't do that. Why you should take advice from people who are not qualified to give you advice? Okay? And you will regret that on your dying bed. You'll be sitting there going, man, I wish I had done this. I wish, it was your life. It's your life. Okay? that we're talking about here. So how to tap into that, you have to tap into your own energy when it comes down to having a business. Think about those things that you accomplished. I want you to think about what you've accomplished in your life. You did that. Nobody else, you did it. You have fingers that you move like this. You you got a head that you can move like this. You the one can do that. You weren't making those movements. Why not tap into the power of, of your why, your desires, your passion, that's why you're who you are today. Now look around and see what you have brought into your life. If you are not happy with that, okay, right here at the bottom, gotmoneyissues.com. Go there, watch the video from the beginning to the end. I'm going to tell you something. The way you can basically move from where you're at today is to tap into that energy, your energy. It is your energy. Tap into that, people, okay? Bob Proctor said, he he told me something. Um, we were talking to him. And sharing the stage back in uh, uh, <laughs> in Utah, and uh, he said, "You got to tap into your vibration. Think about that vibrations. Oh, that sounds like something electrical, right?" He's talking about your inter vibrations, your wants, your needs, your desire, your passion. It only you can tap into that vibration about who you are. You can amplify that. Okay, amplify the volume inside you. That energy, that's gonna be your key. And the way you can go back and look at all the things you accomplished and you can see all the times you tapped into that. You made tippy toe in there and some things you really, oh, boom. Think about people who are in the Olympics. Everybody who made it to the Olympics tapped into that desire, that want, that passion. And they went into it and they became that great person even if they didn't get a goal, but they were in the Olympics, were they? Same thing with football. They tapped into that to be able to go to the Super Bowl or, or the finals or, or, and the basketball, everything. That's what we're talking about. Tap into yourself. How you do that, you find somebody who already has that 
that volume, okay, that vibration we're talking about so they can help you reach your greatness. Look at them. Do what they do. You can make what they make. Don't look at the people who are talking down about it. You're going to be a person sitting there scratching your head like, oh, this is too hard. And you're going to give up. Why? Because you let somebody else tell you you can't do it. And number one reason why you never uh, make it to your greatness because you, I'm talking about those who are watching this video right now, you are the one to talk yourself out of it. You came up with excuses. Do you know what excuse is? Excuse is a well thought out lie that you told yourself. I wouldn't believe it. Okay. And some people, they, they join companies and before you know it, they jump, they jump into something else. And then they jump into something else. You know what they're doing? They're, they love the, the feeling of excitement. So when, when the excitement dies in that company, and the reason why it dies is because they, they're, not, they're not basically tapping into their greatness to make it work. Instead, they're tapping to, you know, losers like to follow other losers and talk to them on, on a loser channel and complain, 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 complain. They complain about the color of the website. They complain about when they call their upline, the upline was not there. They, they ghost them. They complain. You know what? Be the leader that you want, okay? Somebody else to basically be able to follow them. That's what I was saying. Be that leader. Leaders track other leaders. Do what you want everybody else to do. They're going to look at you, and they're going to do what you do. Like for me, I make a video every day. Here's one right here, Okay. And this video is going to go on YouTube and it's going to go on uh, a lot of other social networks. I'm going to basically share this, this video because we're talking about how to tap into your energy, your GFU energy. Why can't I keep on saying it? Uh, GFU? I'm going to tell you why. GFU is it's in every country you can think about. They're in momentum right now. Why sell something that you can't get paid every month for? People are basically loving the service and the products uh, that they have, okay? If you want more about them, watch the video, okay? Gotmoneyissue.com, go there. Now, some of you say, well, Carl, can we talk on the phone? You know what? I'm going to put myself out there, okay? Text me, but don't text me or call me unless you watch the video at the bottom, gotmoneyissues.com, and let's, let's go ahead and we'll take it from there. Back to how to tap into your energy. Like I say, close your eyes. Think about what you accomplished in your life that you knew it was happening. But guess what? Failure was not an option. Like going swimming. Uh, when you want to learn how to swim, you didn't think about you couldn't learn. You learned it, didn't you? That's why you swim today. Like riding your bike. You see other people riding their bike and you say to yourself, oh, I want that. I want that. I want that bad enough. I want that. And you want it so bad that you end up riding the bike. You didn't think about failure. Fall. You can fall, I don't know, a hundred times on a bike. But guess what? You see them do it, you know you can do it. And the reason why it was possible because you hung around those people who were riding bikes. The same thing with skating. You know, you wanted to learn how to skate. You learned how to skate because you were around people who were skating and doing those little fancy moves on, and skating back in the day. I used to be into that. I used to I want that. I desired it. And I learned it. Okay? Tap into that. Okay? Tap into that vibration of wanting something passionate. It was you that desired it. Sometimes other people can't desire it because it's not for them. They don't, they don't care about that. Okay? Hang around for those winners in business, and you will be a winner as well because you're around that vibration, and it just it just hits you like electricity. You'd be, ooh, you'd be on the call. You'd be the first one on the call, last one on the, off the call. You'd be, um, even if when it's hard, you still don't see a failure being an option. You look at that and say, if they can do it, I can do it. That's what I used to do, and I still do it today. If they can do it, I can do it. And I studied those people. I, I mean, I, I'm walking in their steps, watching what they do. It's not a trick. All they're doing is they find out what works and do more of it. There you go. Write that down. They found out what work, and they do more of that. You need to do the same thing. A lot of people ask me, Carl, we know you got a book out that says The Master of Engagement. And I'm going to tell you something. I learned how to... I learn people and their desires, okay? When I come to a person, I want to find out what they want, okay? Here we go. What they want. And when you find out what they want, you're going to basically listen to why they want it, okay? And when you find those two things, you're going to ask them, 
if they get these things, what are they going to do with it? We're getting them into their imagination. Okay, it's all in my book. And guess what? When you find what people want and need at the time they want to buy something, guess what? They can snatch it right out of your hand. Okay, I'll give you one example. When I was a little kid, I was seven years old, and um, I, my mom, she didn't have that much money, and I wanted to now watch her st struggle to, to make, you know, uh, give us food and dinner and all that good stuff and breakfast, lunch, and, and you know what? I'm going to tell you something. I told myself, I desire this. I said, Mom, when I get old enough and strong enough, I'm going to help you. I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to find a way to, to help you make money so we can have better things in life. And she used to look at me and say, you little kid, you can't do anything. She was so overprotective. But guess what happened? That was my desire. That's my want. That's my passion. Was, that's the vibration I was living in. So when I was seven years old, I was sitting up on, the, on top of a hill looking down at uh, UC Berkeley, the Cal uh, football games. And I'd seen a guy stand out there and people walking up to them and, and giving him money what I seen was money being handed to him and he had handed him a little program. And, and every time I turned around, he was just making money like, ta, 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 ta. And the light bulb went off. I say, I want to do this. Okay. I learned how to do that. And I, and I made money to take home. My mom wouldn't let me do it because the gentleman said, you need permission slip. And I went home and my mom said, no, you can't do that. She didn't want me around strangers. I'm seven years old. Think about that. But I went ahead and I signed the paper myself, went up there and, and I made a lot of money. I put it underneath my bed and my mom discovered this money. And she said, what are you doing? How are you making this money? And I told her what I was doing and she counted the money and she said, get back out there and do it again. <laughs> True story, it's in my book. What, what I'm trying to tell you is I discovered that I didn't have to sell anything. My example is find out what people want and give it to them. That's all I did. And I used that all throughout my life and the things I have done. That's how come I was able to be number one in, uh, or on the top 10 of any company I signed up with in, in the military. That's why I was APO. I was charged of the athletic director. I did so many things in my life, even right now with the company called uh, GFU. They have products and services and they have momentum. Guess what? When I first signed up with them in January, uh, it took me about a week. I made a decision I'm going to be a founder in this company, not just a founder, but a qualified founder. I did that in five days, okay? I have some great things going on with this company um, because I'm talking to influencers and people all overseas, but you know, you, when you sign up for this company with me, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. You're gonna, you, you're gonna get it. But listen, the whole thing for today was talking about how to, okay, how to do what, guys? Tap into your greatness, your energy, your vibration, your desires, okay, your wants. And when you find these things out, guess what? Those are the things you want, okay? Not, um, it's what I want for you, and I will help you, okay? So go ahead and sign up for this, my friends, and I'm going to conclude this uh, recording. And uh, I hope you got something out of what I'm talking about today. So right now, I'm going to say bye. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.